Lee and Rebecca are a perfect match. Everything happened very quick, you know, it was six months when I asked her to marry me. But they had to abandon their wedding plans when they both lost their jobs. Absolutely broke my heart to cancel everything. So they're getting €10,000, but there's just one little catch. The next time you see each other will be when you're exchanging vows. They must have no contact until the big day, and Lee must arrange everything. Cheers, lads. All I can imagine is Lee playing away on his PlayStation. He's so disorganised, it's not even funny. But can this Dr. Doolittle really do it all in just three weeks? I don't want something totally mental, like... Would he be able to like, walk up the aisle right now, holding rings or something like that? I know Lee, and I'm going, oh, good grief. I just hope to God he hasn't got the girls in blue and yellow. I'm trying that one, now. The thoughts of Lee picking out my dress just makes me feel ill. Can the man whose favourite outfit is his Tipperary jersey really pick a wedding dress? He is out of his depth big time. I don't think he realised how much went into a wedding. Will the pressure push him over the edge? <laughs> it freaks you out a bit knowing like, what he's going to do with this. Did you use for a wedding before? No. Anything goes, just don't tell the bride. Rebecca met Lee five years ago, and it wasn't long before they were living happily ever after in Carlo. I always knew we wanted to be with her, do you know what I mean? We always got on well together, and there's very little we do without each other. I just feel so happy to find someone that I love so much, and that I'm just going to be married to, and just going to be my best friend, like marrying my best friend. They moved in and decided to have a little faith in their relationship, and here she is. Really excited about getting married, be Mr. and Mrs. So I just feel proper better. Family. Yeah, proper family, we feel right. Are you surviving without me for the three weeks? I think I'll survive, but I'll be counting down the days now. <laughs> oh, they're so in love. Best friends. I've never actually met a couple like them. Join, Well done. They hit off from day one. Even like, you know, they're just kind of meant for each other in a way, you could say. Hey, Muriel, how are you? Hello, you hello, Muriel. How are you? you say hello, hello. They got engaged after six months and they've waited years for the big day. Oh, it's, we've been, I've been planning to get married a long time and we were planning to get married in Greece um, this year in May. The whole life just, like, someone got a light, got her, like, a globe and just shook it. And then everything just changed in a week. Jobs went, and that's my dream went then as well. She was cutting out little bits of things, like dresses, flowers. She did, I think, had a little scrapbook of everything. I think when she moved, she just threw it out. I think she was so angry, like, you know, when she found out that she couldn't go ahead and get married in Greece. So I think she deserves this now. The countdown to her wedding starts now. Today, Rebecca is saying goodbye to Lee and moving out to stay with her parents. Yeah, I'm very emotional. Like, it's hitting me that, I'm, that I will be gone for three weeks and then I'm gone and I won't see him till our wedding day. <laughs> That's crazy. You know what I mean? So I'm just, I say I, I have a few tears to be shed now. Organising a wedding is a serious business and Rebecca seems to have serious doubts about Lee's ability to get his act together. And you don't sit on that PlayStation the whole time, do you hear me? Oh God, the whole time, but I'll be playing it. Girls spend years planning their wedding, you have three weeks. You're not a girl, I'll be grand. You will not be grand. Please start tonight. <laughs> oh, well, I'll be going to the pub um, tonight definitely for a few points later on, and uh, tomorrow night now is, it'll be a big night in the pub, so I'm going to have to work that out. I don't want to go too mad two nights. I won't, I won't. I'll start with the stags or something tonight. <laughs> Kill you. <laughs> the good news is they've already planned one wedding, so Lee should know exactly what his bride to be is looking for. I should do. I should have a good idea of what she wants for a wedding, but as I said, that and she ever said kind of went over my head, you know what I mean? So He should have, but he hasn't. See you now. <laughs> Rebecca is taking Faith with her, but he won't be completely alone. Mwah. Blow him a kiss. For the next three weeks, his housemate is a right old dragon. Bye. Well, I think now she's going to have a very interesting wedding. But I know Lee, and I know it's going to, and I'm going, oh, good grief. <laughs> but really get nervous now. Okay, kiss goodbye then. Lovely. I'll see you in three weeks. Well, I don't think I can give her the wedding that she wanted, but I get close enough to it. And there's a few bits I want now as well that I've been thinking of, so. I work them into it as well. I love you. Scrat all needs the brother over now. A few points. <laughs> he, yeah, he does. He wants to go for something totally different. So I don't know what I'm going to end up with. I don't know what's going to happen. I haven't got a clue. So, oh, God. Oh, I don't know. I think he will surprise us all. 
you know, you can tell him he's up to something. <laughs> I really don't know. It just kind of, it freaks you out a bit knowing like what he's going to do with this. Even his sister seems to have her doubts. And Rebecca's family aren't helping either. They're afraid of what he'll come up with. They seem to think that Lee is a bit spaced out. Very fond of Star Wars, you know. Oh, stop it, man. <laughs> She'd be Darth Vader. She'd be, oh, what do you call it? She's yeah. going to be Princess Leia. All right. And had D2 and R2 following her up the aisle as bridesmaids. <laughs> Definitely Star Wars. Oh, no. I want to cry. Meanwhile, in a galaxy far away, Lee is enlisting the services of his brother, Alan, as best man. He needs a safe pair of hands to help him through this. He would love to please her, but he'd also like to get something that he likes into the wedding. Like, I'd say at the end of the day, as long as she got married, and she'd be happy. As long as she gets married, she'll be happy. And it seems the best man has some bad habits. He's only 19 and he's still living with his parents. So he's worse than Lee and he is a pranker. So I'd say he haven't done a thing yet. And you'd be right, unless spending a week on the PlayStation counts. But with everything from dresses to the reception left to do, Lee better tidy up his act and his bedroom. Basically, when I went there the Thursday night and we ended up going for a few drinks to Thursday night, we had another few Friday and Saturday then we had a good session Saturday night as well. So that's over the next few days I just I'm gonna have to buckle down and start something out, otherwise there's gonna be nothing done and there'll be murder. <laughs> a week later the best man has a brilliant idea. Like, why don't we do something? What kind of just time are going for it? The white one. <laughs> I've put this count before us. All I can imagine is Lee playing away on his PlayStation, you know, so she's yeah. not there to influence him, so <laughs> Alan's there, kind of, so I think Alan that might, worse. that's, you know, so that's nearly worse, so what, you yeah. could expect anything with the two of them, like, you know, that kind of way, because they're just pure messes, really, yeah. when they get together. The wedding dress alone, I didn't have a clue what price, I went out to a site there earlier on, and after five minutes I went away from it, I didn't even know where to start with that, like, let's have a look at the venue just for the ceremony, because I was thinking of something different for that, like, do you know what I mean? The ceremony will be a civil one, at least we hope it will. So Lee needs a venue that can accommodate that. But while he hits Google, Rebecca has given this a lot of thought. I just want that fairy tale. You know, I really want that fairy tale. Close family and friends, just to come in and just feel like a total princess for the day. I would like that wow factor. So what's first on Lee's list? The wedding dress shop? The wedding venue? Actually, it's the zoo. I'm big into reptiles and stuff, and I'd love if I could incorporate it somehow, like, do you know what I mean, into the wedding. You could actually have the ceremony in here. Get a big snake right there. Well, a few bits yeah. around you might have enough room in the lorry, wouldn't you? I'm a little bit worried. I don't want something, like, something totally mental, like, like, like off the wall. Or out of a cage? He's lovely, isn't he? Well, here, put the wedding rings on in the back of him. I wonder what he walk up there in the drinks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's spitting at me, you. A lizard to carry the wedding ring. You better not, if you did. <laughs> That's Enrique. Enrique, yeah. And would he, um, would he be able to like, walk up the aisle right now, holding rings or something like that? To... Yeah, you could try it. There are harnesses that we can get for them. Oh, no, that's something I would definitely look into doing. Mm. I like him now, he's nice. He's lovely, yeah. yeah. He's a good I'm organising the wedding, so I want to get something in for myself as well. Like, you know, I can't all be about her as well at the end of the day. So, Enrique the ring carrying lizard could be Lee's first booking just what every wedding needs. Strangely enough, Rebecca's dream of a wedding venue is completely devoid of any wild animals. I always wanted like a, a fairy tale venue and a kind of a period venue. I want, I want a really memorable wedding. I want everyone to say, oh, did you see her venue? It was gorgeous, but it was mainly just for me. It's kind of like a place where I think I'd feel comfortable in and I think it'd be just a special place for me and Lee. I came here last year for a lunch. Yeah. I just fell in love with the place. It's better than I remember it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Everything. Just imagine walking here with your wedding dress. And she's falling in love all over again. Oh, it's lovely. I don't think it's even going to occur to Lee to come in here, you know that? Yeah. We've been no. thinking about anywhere like this. I really don't want Lee going for a run in the mill hotel in Carlo or Tipperary. Like, I'd hope that it's something totally different. Then just could be a hotel, like, at the side of a road. How about a hotel by the side of the road, just down the road? 
My worst nightmare venue would be, like, I don't want ever anything too modern. Like, you know, I just want something just really special for that one day in my life that I can always remember. First, this is the area we have set up for you. We have a champagne reception arrival for the bridal party. We have tea, coffee and scones for all the guests. I'm getting a bit nervous because I want my specifics. And he, I don't know, I think he'll just go. I, don't, I think he might just go for a hotel. Good guess. This is our ballroom now, Lee. At the moment, we're set up for uh, 112 people. I don't know if the hotels in Carlow would be special or romantic enough for Becky, but I kind of like this kind of thing myself, you know, because a lot more could get to the afters and stuff. <gasps> Look at the stairs. Who cares about the afters? It's Rebecca's day, and she doesn't need a lot of guests. I'm not into big weddings. I like something just intimate and homely and around 60 people, 70 people at max, and I'd be happy with that. Whereas I think Lee invite everybody. Just be grateful he's not inviting the lizards. Do you have a policy on animals or anything like that? What kind place? of animals are you talking about? Uh, we're basically, we're talking about um, a green iguana. But they're, they're harmless. Lee enough. wants a big night on the tiles with reptiles. But this bride knows exactly what she wants, and reptiles are not part of the picture. I really want maids and photographs at the wedding as well. Well, a run of the mill modern hotel wouldn't really give me the photographs I want. I want those amazing pictures to always look back on and always show my kids. So, garden area here, Lee. It's a Ideal for, for photographs. Uh, plenty of colour in the background there. The flowers are just coming on now. So There's plenty of colour, all right, as long as it's green. And the conference room is sort of alternative romantic. Still, maybe Rebecca will be saved by the price. Because it's a midweek wedding, because you get married on a, on a Wednesday, uh, it's discounted by 15%, so that we can bring it back to a price of 29.75 on the day. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to go in and have a think about what I need out my options and see how it goes. But I'll be back in touch with you anyway. The hotel have made an attractive offer, but if he says yes, it could cost Rebecca her dream. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, this is gorgeous. I would like an older house or like even like an old, trying to go way out there, but a castle. Or just, that to I just want that fairy tale. She wants her fairy tale, but Lee is no Prince Charming. Although this looks like a castle. Oh yes, this is more like it. Lee, you're very welcome to Kennedy Castle. What do you think? A uh, castle for your bride? I'd say she'd like it. Yeah. Hopefully. The fairy tale. Fairy tale wedding. A castle in County Offaly. And now for a bit of name dropping to go with the fairy tales. Lovely intimate ceremony up here. Oh, it would be, yeah. And uh, we've had a few famous people get married here over the years. Yeah. Miriam O'Callaghan has been married here. You've had one of the Showiga sisters. Ozzy Osbourne's son. The only thing that was worrying about worried about is um, you know, people come to the afters, transport and stuff. But it seems that although you can take the man out of Tipperary, you can't take Tipperary out of the man. Do you have any themes? At the minute I'm kind of thinking of the Tipperary theme. The, the colours would be blue and yellow like. Yeah, excellent. Even the bridesmaid dresses, I was thinking of trying to get them blue with the yellow With the ribbon. yellow ribbon around? Yeah, so... That would be brilliant. Oh, he's mad, he's a mad tip man. Um, I just hope to God he hasn't got the girls in blue and yellow or the colour theme. He might actually go for the Tipperary colours. He's a big tip, he's a big to Harlan man like. We could put the Tipperary flags all the way along on those black poles. Oh God, oh, I don't know. And then we can match your chair covers. So the blue tie wax yeah. and the yellow runners along the centre. I want everything to be just nice and elegant. But I don't know what, I don't think Lee knows what elegant is. What do you think? That will be nice now, yeah. You know, you could tie it all different. in. Right, that takes care of the yellows and blues. Now what about the nice booze? Bar, it's a big bar and it's very close ah, good. to the That's top table. That's what you want. But are these champagne prices on a beer budget? So normally on a Friday and Saturday for this year, it's 69.50 per person. Yeah. Now because it's such a short lead in mm. and it's obviously a midweek yeah. date, we do it all for 50, 50 ahead. 50 ahead, So you're yeah. talking five grand yeah. for 100 people. Five grand to make Rebecca's dream come true. What's the problem? Mm. Say people are coming up for afters or stuff like that. You can um, organise it. We could get. We can organise buses, buses over and back. You could have coaches going from coaches, Carlo. Yeah, yeah. Well. take Some them over and back. As well. yeah. Lee's not so sure. It seems the after wedding arrangements are more important than the wedding. She'd probably want a castle more than that, and me, I want more of my friends there is more important to me. So I don't want it just all for her either. You know, I want a few bits that I want in it as well. So. What do you mean it's not all for her? Lee heads back to the hotel in Carlo, by the side of the road with his reptiles and tip colours. But what about Rebecca's dream? Absolutely perfect. Dream venue, definitely. Really, really would love this venue. <laughs> I don't need to choose it now, it's a different story. 
Well, I was trying to give her a dream wedding, but at the same time, the Guana, I know the mum was saying, they, they probably wouldn't go all the way to Offaly. I want the Guana in it. The castle could be out of a question, and it might just be the fact of having it here closer to home, in a hotel, and there's nothing can really do about that, do you know what I mean? So. I'm very worried. Like, I'm, I'm afraid, you know, when, when the day is over and done, you know, they, they could be looking at a divorce settlement. I'm very stressed now at this stage. I just am no closer to making a decision. I don't know how I even got into this situation. It's not easy. It's, <laughs> it's not easy at all. I don't think a matter of, if I had three years now, I don't think I'd be any closer to making a decision than I would be in three weeks. Coming up on Don't Tell the Bride. Indecision threatens the big day. Little time left now, you're really, really going to have to do something. Wedding dress, hell. I don't know what to do. It's not me. No. No, I'm very worried about the dress. Very. And the worst wedding transport in the world. Ah, if you're wedding ribbons on it now, it'll be the right job. Just two weeks to go until Lee and Rebecca's wedding day. But this is no ordinary wedding. They've agreed that Lee must organise the whole thing for €10,000 and Rebecca will know nothing about it. And Lee has some wild ideas. Would he be able to like, walk up the aisle right now, holding rings or something like that? Rebecca's worst nightmare are a lizard among the wedding guests and a venue decorated in the tip colours. He might actually go for the Tipperary colours. He's a big tip, he's a big Harlan man. Like. I'm kind of thinking of the Tipperary team, blue and yellow. Like. But now he faces his first tough decision, the venue. He wants a big party in a local hotel. Me, I want more of my friends there is more important to me. But romance is more important to Rebecca. And if Lee just books Kinnity Castle, Rebecca's fairy tale can come true. I would like, like, I know it's really going way out there, but a castle. But this wedding is in two weeks. And so far, Lee has no venue, no dresses, no suits and no idea. Nothing booked, nothing bought, nothing done. It freaks you out a bit knowing like, what he's going to do with this. The main loves of Lee's life appear to be Rebecca, reptiles and Tipperary. So she's expecting the unexpected. The more I think about it, I'm there like going, what, what is he going to do? It could be totally, I'm just, it's going to be totally unexpected. Whatever he's, you know, going to choose, it'll be a surprise. But I'm hoping it's going to be a good feeling surprise, not me just absolutely devastated. I can't be that bad. OK, I take that back. She'd like something sophisticated but traditional. I don't think she'd like bling. How about the Batmobile? I'll be definitely getting that now for a wedding car. Did you use for a wedding before? No, no. Just comes out on St. Patrick's Day and at Halloween, that's it. Suddenly the Tipperary colours don't seem so bad. I think this car be the right joke for the wedding car. I don't know what way she'd take it now or not, but it's something different anyway. Do you think she'll like it or will it sell it? I don't know if she'll like it or not, but she, she turns up in the morning, she'll have to deal with it. Either, yeah, either let her walk. Ah, oh, how sweet. Well, I don't think it really been that bad, like, do you know what I mean? It's, I know it's orange or whatever, but sure. Ah, if you're wedding ribbon, ribbons on it now, would be the right job. Somewhere along the line, someone's going to get some sort of prank pulled on him. It wouldn't be Lee and Alan if you don't get pranked. <laughs> she's boomboxing all the back, she'll be grand, she'll listen to music on the way down. If only it was a prank. It's booked. So the bride has transport, but where's it going to take her? Lee still has no venue. Meanwhile, Rebecca is out fantasy shopping for the kind of dress she hopes Lee will choose for her. I want something that's really flattering. It comes into my waist and goes out. It's not a big, massive, huge, I could barely walk in dress now, but I would like a bit of volume on the bottom, yeah, definitely. It's a pretty dress, but I'd love something with bling. If I got that, I'd have to like, kind of embellish it myself. Put a little jewel in the middle of the flower. I'd do something and put little sparkles across it. I like anything that sparkles. <laughs> the bride wants to sparkle. So, after a bad start, perhaps this is Lee's chance to shine, with a little help from groomsman Mike. Oh, I hate shopping. Even clothes shopping for myself, I prefer to give her the, my sizes and just let her go and pick them out. I get fear stressed in shops. I'm just looking for dresses. I'm actually married in two weeks. I was hoping to get a few ideas off you because I'm not too sure now where to start myself. So. Okay. She had books there from time to time and pointed at me a couple of years back. I was either too busy watching football or playing the PlayStation or something and just, oh yeah, that's lovely kind of a thing. So hopefully just pick a dress, dress that we think would look well on her and hope for the best. So Lee's strategy is to hope for the best. Brilliant. Meanwhile, Rebecca may have found the dress she wants. I like it comes in at the waist and it goes out and I like the kind of, the ruffles going across it. And it has to be ivory or champagne colour as well. <laughs> Can't be white. No way. So hopefully you won't go for a white dress. And do you think she would like the white, ivory or light gold? If I like white myself, but um, 
Okay. Like look at a few white ones as well, definitely. Yes. Okay, we'll have a look through that. The dress would be the most important thing I'd say to Becky. She does like a lot of sparkle and she likes it to fit well and she just wants to be comfortable, basically, you know? So having no say in it whatsoever. So I'm very worried about the dress. Very. And the man who can't even buy his own clothes continues his search for the perfect dress. Have you ever seen her wear this neckline? Because it's really important that she get you, that you get her the right dress. Oh, lads. I don't know what I'm have to get myself in for. <laughs> Lee's beginning to realise there's more to a wedding than vans and lizards. I like the sparkle, but I would like a few, few a little more. A bit more of the sparkle. Yeah, okay. but it, it is a fabulous dress. I really like it, but okay. I like to try. A little bit of Grecian influence. So yeah, it is beautiful. A little bit I too plain for you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, nothing plain. This bride fancies a fancy dress, which is not what Eva, the model, is wearing. Over to you, Lee. Small little bit of bling on it as well, like so. If you picked out a plain dress, I think maybe Becky would probably freak out. I think Lee would be the sort of fella that would say, safe, plain is safe. Yeah, I think it is nice now, it is very nice, but um, so maybe try on another one, just okay. uh, sure, another idea on another one. Yes, exactly. Thanks. No problem. I was feeling nervous coming down. Um, now that I'm down here, I'm worse again, to be honest with you. <laughs> Should we get there at the end of the... <laughs> Good, because at the end of the day, they need to pick something like this. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous. I love it. It's everything you want. I love it. I like, the, I like the, actually the one shoulder. Okay. For a change. And the volume in the skirt, how do yeah. you feel? It's perfect. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not up to her. But I just can't believe that I won't be picking my own dress. Because I love this detail. It just has so much detail and so much sparkle. Oh, I don't know what he's going to pick. <laughs> Oh, we have sparkles in it. Oh no. Wow, sparkles and one shoulder strap. Has Lee struck it lucky? Oh, that is nice. Um, how much is that one? That one is 1,100 again. 1,100 yeah. again, yeah. I like the flowers. Though. That's a, It's a beautiful dress and the one strap is really, really popular at the moment. Does she normally wear bling? Don't he doesn't know. Five years and he still doesn't know. I'd say when he goes into a wedding shop, he's just mm. going to be like, Oh Rabbit in headlights. Be like, oh, what the hell am I doing here? Like... He is one step away from getting the dress Rebecca wants. Just go for it. I told myself at the start of the week I couldn't get stressed. I'm just feeling myself now. I'm just gradually and gradually getting more and more. It was a lot easier picking the right lizard. Lee's changing his mind again. How about something lacy? Well, that's nice on now, too, actually. Sorry, I asked you to try it on now. <laughs> How much is that one, actually? That one is actually in the sale. It's reduced to 500 euros. It is nice on, isn't it? Yeah. Funny how attractive men find a dress when it's cheaper. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know which way to go on. I would like the perfect dress for the day. It's one day, like one day. I don't know. The sparkly, fabulous gown, or the one that's lacy and in the sale? If she doesn't like the wedding dress, she'll get angry. I can't imagine Becky going in something that she doesn't like. I don't know which way to go. I don't know what to do now. Well, I'll be worried about him if he gets stressed out as well. You know, if he gets really worried and stressed out, like things won't work out properly then. Does he look stressed to you? So many different style dresses and names and... It's the dress now. I didn't think we'd get stressed, man. Yeah. I think you'd be better off going for the one you want. Yeah. And just when you think it can't get any worse, advice from Mike. OK, so Ava's back in the first dress again. I'm just going to have to make a decision. I think I will, I think I'll go with that one. Definitely. Decision made? Yeah, go on. Oh, thank you. Oh, excellent. I want to get over there. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Annie. Thanks very much. For you. Thanks for that. She'll be gorgeous. Well, hopefully she's happy with it anyway. The man who's never bought clothes in his life has bought the right dress. <laughs> but what is it they say about a woman's prerogative? <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. I think I like this one better than the last one, actually. It's beautiful. The champagne colour is amazing. I didn't think this would suit me at all, and I really, really like it. This is their dress, I think, definitely. Rebecca has changed her mind. Poor old Lee. He just never stood a chance. At least it's over now, don't we? Because I can't spend any more time on it. I just, my head is just getting wrecked. But perhaps Rebecca will hide her disappointment when the time comes? I don't know. I'd probably cry. I would cry. 
I would. <laughs> There's tissues on the window. <laughs> you can have oh, your moment. <laughs> oh. It's been a long day, and the lads are all chopped out. What do you think of them ones? I'm not going in and start looking at lace and A-line and sleet. And just finished, man. Done. Job done. Finished. No more thought. Which is a shame, because if he only knew it, this is the dress Rebecca picked just a few hours ago. Just hope he gets it right, because I know she'd be devastated if it's not. I didn't think it suited me whatsoever, and it just fit me to a T. It just it shocked me that I liked it so much. I, just, I don't know if I have a strap. I don't know what way I'll react, but I will cry. Um, I not keep my hopes up. <laughs> Cheers, lads. Cheers, sir. We'll get there in the end. Exactly. Yeah. One way or another. <laughs> <laughs> but Lee can't relax just because he bought the wrong dress. There's still no invitations, no rings, no stag or hen parties, and no bridesmaids' dresses. And of course, the venue which is one of Rebecca's biggest worries. Um, I just hope it's not like a clubhouse or just a run-of-the-mill hotel. I hope it's just something different and unique. And well, it will like be unique with Lee, I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. It's a dress that's killing me and the venue. I'd love to know what it is. So would Lee. Just one week left and he has to choose. The bride's romantic castle or his booze up in the local Seven Oaks Hotel. The stress levels now have never been as stressed as I have been in the last couple of weeks. It's just... Unbearable the stress levels. It's a tough decision, all right. The bride's romantic old world fairy tale. Or this. He's usually quite laid back until it comes to the crunch, and it comes to the crunch, he'll crack a thing like that. And it has come to the crunch. Perhaps Lee's parents can talk some sense into him. Little time left now, you're really, really going to have to do something, Lee, you know, make decisions. Like, you still have the invitations to do. Looking at it from, Becky, from how Becky would be feeling, I think myself. The Kennedy, like, is the one. You know, I've all my friends there, and I know for a fact they won't all go to Kennedy. I think Lee sees it like it's just a big, massive occasion, just have a big, you know, session with the lads, and just forget that it's, like, my day as well as his day. And I'm just getting, like, nervous more. Maybe Rebecca has nothing to worry about. I think I'm going to go down to, to the Seven Oaks. Then again, maybe she has. Lee's booked the local hotel. Her fairy tale has gone. All that's left is an old orange van, a reptile or two, and a colour scheme based on the Tipperary hurling team. I always thought he'd be very laid back and not care in the world. Just, he's finding it very stressful now, so I can't believe that. Decision made. Now boys just want to have fun. The stag party has landed. So the boys have got their toys, but what about the hen party? A beauty spa? A night on the town? Um, my hen's tonight, but I don't know really? why. Really? Yeah. And I you don't, don't know where you're going? No, all oh, the girls really? are coming up to my house and been told to wear leggings and um, a nice long top. My hens, I'd like to go maybe to Carlow, Kilkenny, down to Waterford, maybe um, rent one of the party buses or something like that. I just have a laugh there and head up then for a dance. This doesn't look like a party bus. I think that's as lucky as I'm going to get. He got me them mini bus. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't mind going for a pampering day. Uh, maybe with my family, but there is around 30 girls going on my hens. So I don't know whether the budget will stretch that far. The location is still a complete mystery to Rebecca. Where are we going? <laughs> well, we're up too sure I've made all the right choices now on uh, Everton, but I'm happy enough with it and just hopefully then she's happy as well. So. Should be a good day one way or another. Just looking forward to this stag's night now. And she's looking forward to her hen night. So far. We're going water skiing, aren't we? Yeah! Lee finally gets his skates on and decides to invite oh Rebecca. <laughs> finally! <laughs> I've really missed you over the last three weeks and I'm counting the hours till we meet again. We'll be a proper family for the rest of our days. I love you so much. I've been out you has been hard, but all worth it in the end. Love you, Lee, the wedding planner. When are you getting married? Oh, look. Oh, so Lee Dyle advise you to join him, exchange marriage vows on the 27th of April, 2011 at 1.30 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so sweet. After a five-year wait, Rebecca's wedding is finally for real and she's on a roll. It's really surprised by tonight. I wasn't expecting this at all, and the invitation and the skates was absolutely brilliant. 
And with just two days to go and loads left to do, Lee could still be heading for a fall. Now a champagne moment for the girl who likes a bit of sparkle. And some difficult questions need to be answered. Once done right or three times a night? Once done right. <laughs> Once right, favourite position. Oh my God, answer that question. What's her favourite type of underwear? I don't think she wears any. <laughs> What's your favourite type of underwear? Commando! <laughs> Next morning, and Lee's headache is a reminder that it's not always a good idea to have the stag night so close to the wedding day. Well, the stag night was a good laugh now, but um, a lot of drink, maybe a little bit too much drink now. And the only thing that can give you a bigger headache than a good stag night is a trip to the dress shop with four bridesmaids. Someone's going to be wearing the Tipperary colours, you know, and I've warned them, I said, don't even come near me with a yellow dress because I will not wear it, like. Only well, you want to try on that one, no? Try on that one, no? He wouldn't cope very well going shopping with women. Four different shapes, four different sizes. I just hope to God he hasn't got the girls in blue and yellow. I think I'll just start, like, going, oh, well, they have to wear them, not me, but still, it'd be awful. What do you think of this one? No, no way. Oh, it's so old fashioned. No way. No? Don't even think about it. I'd love um, a deep purple or a black. It was just so different. I think black dresses would be really flattering on all the girls as well. Right, so look, try on four dresses and see where we go from there or something. And when the dresses turn black, Lee's budget is doomed. Nice dress, Harry. Yeah. How much is it? 250. <laughs> I was thinking about 200 for four dresses, but I think it's going to have to go up a little bit from that now. How much is that one, Emma? 300. How much is that? 195. 195? Top nice three, you never know. Blood pressure's um, starting to skyrocket now at this stage. It's just... I, thought, I wasn't expecting them to be so pricey. OK, what's the budget there? It was originally 50 quid a dress, but it stretched to 100 quid a dress, maybe. I've got to find a dress for that cheap. Mm. Well, no, no, that's really Got a shopping ahead of us. At the minute now, it's not looking good whatsoever, so... At the end of the day, it's only four bridesmaid dresses, like, you know what I mean? It's... I don't think it's that important, really, is it? Will they ever learn? I'd say now she loves them a lot, but I'd say there's a, you know, it's the one big day of her life as well, and it's something she's always going to have to look back on. So, I mean, you know, I hope they're not too off the wall. Not a good day. No bridesmaids' dresses. And so far, Rebecca can look forward to a venue she doesn't want, not to mention the Batmobile, and a few ring-bearing reptiles. Well, she did want a day to remember. Two, one, bungee! Still to come, Lee sacks the bridesmaids. The thoughts of Lee picking out my dress just makes me feel ill. Rebecca sees that dress <laughs> and things get really scary. Lee is supposed to be organising his wedding to Rebecca, which is in just a few days. But instead of planning hard, he and the lads have been partying hard. I still have to do my vows and speech. Oh, I've definitely had enough of the bachelor life now at this stage. I'm starting to miss them all, having, not having the three of us together. And plus the state of this place, can't keep going like that either, so I have to get the mother and the sister over. Get them to do a proper job on it. Hey, is there any chance of getting four hurls off you later on? Do you want the Tipperary top as well? I might get a end of it. But Tipperary fan Lee has no time for games. Rebecca might have an invitation, but she still has no idea where it will be or what Lee has planned. I just don't know what to expect. I don't, because he's never organised anything, really. It's usually I'd step in and do it, but... Like, I don't know what, but I don't know what he's going to do now. Lee doesn't know what he's going to do either. There are no invitations, no bridesmaids' dresses, and although he's vowed to give Rebecca the day of her life, he still hasn't written any vows. If Lee has nothing to do, he'll leave things to the last minute. He'll all get a bit panicky, I think. I thought it was all going to be easy, and it's, it's far from it. I'm finding it very, very hard now at this stage. Well, he is out of his depth big time. I don't think he realised how much went into a wedding. You know, I really want that fairy tale. 
But this is where Lee booked for Rebecca's fairy tale. And with the deposit fully paid and just a day to the wedding, he's now starting to have serious doubts. You know, I want something different for her. I don't want it to be just an ordinary wedding. I'd love to get a castle into it somehow or... Lee could have had Kinnity Castle, but he let it go to save money. Now he needs to come up with something fast. I'd love to get a castle somehow. Or head, is, head is just getting wrecked. There's more and more stress. Maybe he can save his wedding if he can book separate venues for the civil ceremony and the reception. He's found a castle, albeit one that hasn't seen a wedding for more than 100 years. So this is the green room, yeah. and this is where the ceremony takes place. I think uh, Becky would enjoy it down here. Uh, she'd get a bit of her fairy tale wedding and then back to Carla for her reception. I might get away with my Tipperary team a bit then, so... <laughs> Rebecca will get her fairy tale castle for 20 minutes, plus a two-hour round trip back to Carlo in an old orange van. Is that enough for a bride with big dreams? Was there any special requests or anything? That... Um, well, don't years now. I was thinking of having um, green iguana at the ceremony. You'd need to check that with the registrar yeah. first because it is a solemn vow of marriage. Yeah, it's true. And as well. um, they don't take things lightly. Like if... the iguana might be the guest of honour, but it's his soul buddy that Lee's missing the most. Yeah, I'm really starting to miss her. I can't wait for the day when we get married and just be able to give her a kiss or hold her. Do you know what I mean? It's it's getting hard now that way as well. So. And plus there's no one to do the washing up. Dada. You miss your dada? Dada. And it's yeah. been a long three weeks all round. It's hard. It's really hard. I'm really, really missing him now. Just the days and the hours are going so slow. But it will all be worth it if Lee just gets one thing right. I can't wait to see your dress. I'm excited too, yeah. You know, it'll be really nice. I'm really nervous now. Ah, oh, Vicky. It won't be long now. I just, a day to day, I'm thinking, what could he be doing today? Like, I just hope he's doing OK and he has everything sorted now, you know? Hardly everything. But for now, the man who likes to suit himself is off to get himself a suit. Had you any idea of what you were thinking of yesterday? Was there black or grey or something for the suit? Right. Anyway. OK. But no Tipperary colours for Lee. Yeah, well, I'm not putting any Tipperary colours into my own one, but um, you know, I want to be looking well on the day as well, so... We'll, we'll leave all that to the bridesmaids. <laughs> Ivories are quite nice as well. Yeah. So, you know, and they'll go with anything. And Lee has found the perfect solution to shopping with the bridesmaids. Shopping without them. Well, at this stage now, they're, they're 150. They're over me budget, like, but I just, I've given up at this stage. I just have to, I'm going to have to go with them. And hopefully they'll look nice on them and they'll like them. <laughs> yeah. Two sizes that you were looking oh, for. Oh, brilliant. That's lovely. Thanks a million. The thoughts of Lee picking out my dress just makes me feel ill. God only knows what's going to have me in. A quick visit to the jewellers and the rings are in the bag. But this could all be for nothing because at the moment Rebecca has no way of getting to this wedding. The bad car, that orange van thing, uh, uh, that's fell through because it's not going to make it there. Let's hope Lee knows a good minicab firm. Blissfully unaware of the mess that Lee is in, Rebecca has only one thing on her mind. Well, this is the biggest day of my life ever. <laughs> so I just want that dress. I want to feel comfortable in that dress and I want the, my dress for that. I'll be happy if I have my dress. Something comfortable and big and princessy and sparkly and I hope to God he got me shoes. <laughs> for the first time, Rebecca is about to see the dress she gets married in tomorrow. I'm not too bad, I'm getting excited now. I can't wait. Yes. <laughs> While Rebecca stresses over her dress, the stress finally pushes Lee over the edge. I'm really stressed out. I just have to let off a bit of steam, so going to jump seems like the best way out of it. Three, two, one, bungee! And while Lee throws himself into the proceedings, the big moment has arrived for Rebecca. Look at your dress. Oh, oh that's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, he did such a good job. Beautiful on you, Becky. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love it. Oh, I love it. She was sure he'd forget the shoes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> and they're not too high, you know. No. Oh, they're perfect. It's a good fit. Perfect. Well, and if you could have well. anything else you wanted with that dress, what would it be? Something for my hair. Okay. I love it. 
It's fabulous. I cannot believe how brilliant he's done. He's oh so my God, that is fabulous. I haven't seen a dress as beautiful as that anywhere. I'm so, so over the moon for her. Oh my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, you got me a V. <laughs> oh, look at the sparkle on the side. Oh my God. How does he ever do that? He's after doing so well. I get surprised that he put so much effort into the dress. I wasn't expecting this at all. I thought it would just be the dress. Maybe I'd be lucky if I got something for my hair. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm delighted. I can't believe it. I've never been this happy ever in my life except when I give birth to my daughter, but it comes close to that. I'm delighted. He did absolutely brilliant. So happy <laughs> to get married to him. It's going to be beautiful bride. <laughs> oh, it's going to be gorgeous. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I'm bringing tissues tomorrow. I'm absolutely delighted. <clears throat> I don't want you I'm over the moon with it. I'm very lucky to have him. Very lucky. She's waited and dreamed for five years. Now, finally, Rebecca can look forward to her wedding day. It's the morning of the wedding, and even the Carlow countryside has come out in the Tipperary colours. But if this wedding is really going to happen, Lee still has his work cut out. A bit nervous, but I think everything's going well by the last few little bits. I'm trying to think here, there probably is something else I forgot, but at the minute I think we have it all done after the flowers. And his budding bride to be starts her day with an early trip to hair and makeup. But the thought of a wedding by Lee is taking its toll. I'm nervous. Um, I felt really sick this morning when I got up. Um, I just never felt like that before. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do when I see him is run down there and kiss him and give him a big hug. After three weeks out of the loop, Rebecca's beginning to get the picture. He got me a photographer. <laughs> That's brilliant. I wasn't expecting that now. <laughs> I wonder where I'm going now. I feel like getting sick this morning. I'm getting all excited again now. Lee needs to get his finger out, but groomsman Mike has got Lee something that every Tipperary man would love to get his hands on, the Liam McCarthy Cup. I'm not delighted with it now. Great present. Pity you can't keep it. <laughs> but Lee needs to concentrate on his trophy bride, and he has been looking for a few good lines to put in his wedding vows. I had to go online there and cheat a little bit and find a few. I would like to write my own as well, but just I couldn't. I just didn't have the head to do it. Just couldn't come up with that. And so, and so the only way to do it was to cheat and check online. So it's done now, anyway. Wedding vows by Google. But when the flowers arrive, at least Rebecca is reminded of Lee's first love. He got the temporary <laughs> colour. <laughs> <laughs> Blue and yellow. Let you wait without two now. Oh, they are oh, beautiful. Wow. I look for faith. Look. Oh. Rebecca's so excited she can forgive the tip colours on the flowers. But what about her bridesmaids? Oh my god. <laughs> ah, they're lovely. I <laughs> look gorgeous. <laughs> he's look absolutely gorgeous now. He's happy in the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So happy to go for canary yellow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was really nice happy about you. Sure. look lovely. <laughs> yeah, she's lovely. Oh, they look lovely. Meanwhile, 10 miles away. An emotional moment for Mum. That's lovely. You look Thanks. Happy. I love you. Thank you. Love you too. <laughs> you can't start crying already. Too early. I'm really happy for the two of them. Like it's what they've wanted for so long. Like and it's you know it's very emotional today. You know to see the two of them. Like they've planned a couple of weddings and things didn't go the way they wanted. So you know today is just so special. You know to see my baby get married. <laughs> you no, know, so it is. I'm just so so happy for the two of them. No own goal so far for Lee, but now Rebecca's family are about to see her dress. Oh my god! Oh my god. You set me up now. <laughs> Lee speeds off for Johnstown Castle, but how is Rebecca getting to the wedding? Fortunately for her, this time Lee has got it right. 
Ah, oh, the Tipperary. He couldn't get away with not going to Tipperary, <laughs> couldn't he now? <laughs> She'll never know how close she came. Cheers, love. Best luck to you. <laughs> Here comes the bride. If only she knew where. Nearly an hour in the car and she's still none the wiser. Where are we going? <laughs> Meanwhile, Lee's forgotten something. Ma'am. You don't know my son. Oh, Lee, you're not serious. Oh, it was given to you this morning. Yeah, you may. It was given to you this morning. I know that. <laughs> At least it's not the rings. <laughs> Meanwhile, the bride just wants to see her wedding venue. Okay, well, it's not an end story. Where are we going? <laughs> she wanted a castle, but it's the last thing she expected. After a long drive, is her dream about to come true? I'm getting married in the castle, aren't I? Aren't I? You got me a princess dress for the castle. Oh, oh my God. Not only is her dream coming true, she's doing it in style. Oh my God, that's what I is. <laughs> I would like to welcome you all here today to join with William and Rebecca in the solemnization of their marriage. I give to you my unending love and devotion. I promise to be true to you, to cherish you, and to share my thoughts, hopes, and dreams with you. My best friend, I will love you forever. I promise you my deepest love, my fullest devotion, my tenderest care. From this day forward, you shall not walk alone. My heart will be your shelter, and my arms be your home. I now pronounce them husband and wife. <laughs> And now for a guard of honour, Tipperary style. It was absolutely, I can't believe how well he done. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't have chose better myself for my daughter. She's the best day I've ever had with her. I am just gobsmacked. I cannot believe he has done this. The castle, amazing. If I speak anymore, I get, I'll cry. He's so happy. He's really surprised us all. She even said herself, like when she got seen the horse and cart, she was like, oh my God. <laughs> He's really pulled it off, I'm so proud of him. He's really good. She looks to me like she's just floating on air, which I hope she is, like so. Just, I'm really, really happy. I can't, I can't explain how happy. I think I'm as happy as Becky is. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm in shock. Absolute shock. He's done everything. I just... He's done absolutely brilliant. OK, the bride got her castle. Two hours are up. Time to head back to Carlo and party central. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to the Seven Oaks! Lovely! Oh, well done again, Jamie. I can't get over this. So, what do you give to a bride who is having the best day of her life? I've one last surprise for you. So I'll be away here now just for a minute. I'm going to be back in, right? Okay. You'll love it, trust me. <laughs> OK. <laughs> what are we doing now? The iguana may have stayed at home, but Lee is still a party animal at heart. <laughs> She's going to freak out. <laughs> Queen left over. Come here. What? We own him. No more surprises. <laughs> uh, well, my favourite moment, say, apart from getting married, is definitely the snake. <laughs> <laughs> my least favourite. <laughs> <laughs> 
just a massive thank you to my husband. <laughs> they, they did it down to perfection, better than I could have ever done it. He did it, he knows me better than I think I know myself at this stage. I'd like to have a special thanks to my lovely bride. I think she looks well, and I did a great job picking the dress. Three weeks, 10,000 euro, and a five year wait. Is this the day that Rebecca dreamed of? It was perfect. Couldn't ask for anything better. It was better than I could ever even dream of. Again, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs>